This is a reading for Cancer the Crab. And we will start with your playlist first. Um, Green Day, Basket Case, Eminem, Square Dance, um, Anya, Inya. I don't know how to say her name. I think it's Inya, Only Time, Kenny Rogers, Lady, um, Madonna, Into the Groove, um, Billy Joel, She's Always a Woman, um, Queens of the Stone Age, No One Knows, Chris Brown, With You, um, Downkick, Murphy's, um, Hang 'em High, Imaginary Friends, In My Sight, um, Panamore, That's What You Get, The Beatles, um, The Long and Winding Road, Coldplay, Him for the Weekend, Savage Garden, Truly, Madly, Deeply, Coldplay, Amsterdam, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Parallel Universe, and I'll probably add a few um, songs. But yeah, that's your little playlist. They're going to be listed below if you want to vibe to those um, throughout the week or, you know, one or two of them. And we will start the reading. As you know, your you right now is represented by the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is large sums of monies, extra money, um, to help future generations. A family business, a fam family of your own tradition. So, this is what's happening right now. You could be making that money, you could be having a family, you could be doing a lot of things. Okay, um, week's theme. This is the theme of the week. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles works hard, takes their time, has the patience of a saint, is persistent, can be relied on. So, um, this could be you, this could be a friend, this could be somebody in your family, this could be anybody who, for some reason or another, is always lending somebody money. Um, so, that's kind of a clue of who it is. Okay, um, challenge. This is a challenge um, you will face this week. It's going to be the Three of Swords in Reverse. Three of Swords in Reverse is heartache, separation, infidelity, miscarriage, or fertility issues. This could be you, this could be a partner, um, this could be a surrogate if you're, you know, having trouble with your own fertility and you need a surrogate to carry it to term and, and might have had some complications. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's really sad. But, um, like, I have a friend who had some problems uh, with fertility. She couldn't carry. Um, so she had to get a surrogate in order to have a biological child. So she adopted one child and then she had two biological children but with a surrogate. So it took a while to find one. It, it was a lot of money and all this. So uh, there is ways to have your own biological child but you kind of have to be able to have the funding and all that stuff to have one if you need a surrogate and um, you know some people need to be relaxed in order to have children in the first place um, remember this is what you already know that's going to be useful for you this week so it's going to be the two of swords the two of swords is a worthy foe Friends, lovers who are on your level, love, affection, intensity, worthy allies. Um, so this could be like anybody in your life right now, or somebody coming in maybe. Um, but it's gonna be somebody who you just instantly click with. So it's going to be like a fight at first, <laughs> probably an argument that develops into something else like really fast um, so 
So now we have the lesson, the lesson that you will learn right now, this week. Um, seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is getting what you want despite having bad motives. Confidence to go for what you want. Attempt at a goal. So, um, this could be a person. This could be a career-based thing. This could be, um, could be a love relationship, career, personal. Um, could be networking with people that you usually don't network with. It could be a lot of things. Um, but it's getting what you want with bad motives. So, um, could be anything, really. You want to get, like, the close, um, like, something that wasn't obtainable to you before. Anyway, the gift that you will be receiving this week, the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is self-care, time spent alone, much needed time away from social media, time to reflect. Time to reflect on probably a lot of stuff, probably where, what you're doing, f future plans, um, s projects you want to work on, um, but you're kind of taking like days off maybe to sleep or whatever. So whatever the case, you're taking a long time away from social media just to replenish your energies. Anyway, it's not a bad thing. Everybody needs a spa day, or like rest day, so. Anyway, if you like this reading, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, concerns, or ideas for my next video, leave them in the comment section below, and I will read those. So, thank you for watching.